Okay, welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani, and this is a unboxing and review and demonstration of the Miro uh, tank drum. And this is what it looks like. I'll give you the overhead view again so you can see. This is a 15 note tank drum. It's got a low profile, in other words, it's, it's fairly uh, narrow. And you can see this beautiful feature here, which is a kind of a, just a fabric that goes around the outside. I love this, this feature over here. See these little beads? Very beautiful. And you can see that the um, finish is nice. It's got numbers, which I will explain in a second. Um, but also the shape is unique of uh, these cutouts. And these are all different notes. You've got over two, well, over an octave here, even two octaves in, in one note. And on the bottom, you've got rubber feet and you've got a plug that you can remove. It sounds better with the plug in, so I'm just gonna leave that in. But if you need to access the center of the drum or if you've been using it as a bank, a piggy bank, you can get your money out from there. Um, all right, so here's what, and I'm using a, a snare stand today just placing this on top like that. But you could place it on a table or um, any flat surface and that would do a great job supporting it. So um, we're gonna listen to the drum again in a second, but right now I wanna show you what you get. First and foremost, you get this amazing bag. I was blown away by this. I really like this bag. It's got lining. It's got this really cool knot type, uh, you know, it's just I got a cool vibe. It's got this little clasp on the top. Um, it's got a strap, it's got a zipper, it's got everything you need to uh, look cool and hip as you're going to and fro playing your tank drum. So it's really nice that it comes with a bag. I haven't seen that in many of these uh, tank drums. Also, let me go back to the overhead so you can see what else this comes with. I'm just gonna show you real quick here that it comes with all of these things Let's get the studio, here we go. So um, real quick, cloth, cleaning cloth. This is similar to what you would use for a set of uh, glasses, you know, cleaning. You have get this little mallet holder or rest so you can put your mallets. These mallets, I really like, they're substantial. They're pretty soft. I'll play these on the drum in a second so you can hear them. You also get these, which are like little finger mallets or something. I'm not really sure what they're called, if they have a name, but I guess, you know, you know, if you don't want to play with your fingers, you can put these on and play like that. You get four of those. And then you get this book, uh, and I'll talk about this in a second. You also get these numbered labels. Uh, they're a full set of labels, and I don't know if you can see this, but down here, some of the numbers have a dot, and this is their system. If the dot is on top of the number, it means it's a high note. If the number is plain, it's a medium pitch, and if the number, if the dot is on the bottom here, then it means it's lower. So you've got a three with a dot on the bottom, that's the low note. A three with no dot, that's the middle note, middle third, middle three note, and then a three with the dot on the top, that's the highest. Three, and I'll show you that in a second on the instrument. And then you get this bag, which is a zippered bag. And this is sort of like your mallet bag or your gig bag. You can put everything, all of this stuff you can put in here. Which is a nice feature. I haven't seen this before in many of these. So that's everything you get. You get this booklet also, and it's called the Steel, Trung Steel Tongue Drum Music Book. And the first part is kind of about tuning and if it, if it Needs to, if it's a little out of tune you, and you want to tune it, it shows you, talks about how to do that and how to get it in tune. If it's out of tune, I don't think it would be, but it might be, I guess, depending on what happened. And then you get a whole bunch of songs. And I know it's kind of hard to see in the video uh, the way the lighting is, but uh, there's songs with traditional notation and then the numbers above all the notes. So you can read the numbers up here and then you just go to the instrument and find that number and make sure you know which, which number, if it's the one with the dot on top or the dot below or no dot, and you've, you can play these songs if you wanna figure these out. Um, honestly, I went through this book and looked at it and I think they could do a little bit better job 
editing some of these songs because some of the traditional songs like Happy Birthday, um, not the most accurate rendition in here, but you all know how Happy Birthday goes. You could figure it out. But I would recommend, I do appreciate the music book for those of you who want to read music and play traditional songs. Some of the songs I think are, uh, they weren't familiar to me. They might be from other cultures or they might just be songs that they made up to put in the book. But um, some of the traditional songs like Twinkle Twinkle and Happy Birthday uh, could be corrected a little. But you can figure them out as well on your own. That would be my only criticism of the booklet. But it's nice that they give you a booklet and a lot of, you know, drums don't come with booklets. So I think that's a plus. Let's go back to the instrument. And I want to show you again how you can read the notes. So here is a three and it's got the dot on the bottom. So that means the low, low number three note. And then here is the, uh, where is it? Here is the regular three size here with no dot. And then here's the three with the dot on the top. So you've got three threes, three octaves here. Here's what it sounds like with the mallets. So I hope that gives you an, a good idea of the sound. Um, kind of impressive, everything you get with this instrument. If you'd like to find out more or look at it yourself online, click the link below. And I want to thank the folks for sending it over to World Drum Club. If you all appreciate this kind of content and information, show it with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because I am doing reviews. Uh, of different kinds of instruments and because I have good equipment here you can actually hear what they sound like pretty well. I do my best to bring you guys high quality. So if you appreciate it, subscribe, recommend World Drum Club to your friends and colleagues, click the bell if you want to get notifications of new videos, see me over at patreon.com slash Kalani for more and to connect with me more and you can also send me a message through my website kalanimusic.com. Leave your kind and helpful comments below and I hope you find opportunities to make some great music with people that you care about and love and enjoy. Thanks for watching, thanks for being at World Drum Club and I'll see you in a future video.